today we're gonna to get a ton of decluttering and organizing done here in my home. I've been making kind of a mental list of different places in our home that have been more frustrating than they have been functional. And so I decided just whenever I had 15 or 20 minutes to just tackle those spaces and get them all organized. So I really didn't do this in one day. It just took me over a couple of weeks and I just filmed them. I didn't even get everything done. So that means that there will be another video coming out sometime when I get to those other places. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. The first place that I wanted to organize and just kind of declutter was our children's picture books. So I had them in a couple of different baskets and they were just becoming overrun and they weren't being used very well. So I went through and I just took out all of the books that either were worn or tattered or ones that were seasonal like winter and Christmas books. I took those out as, as well as any books that were just were not being used. Maybe they were like more like baby type books that we haven't been using lately. And some of the books I actually got rid of, but a lot of them I kept and I just put them up in storage. I find that we look through the books more often when there's less to choose from and it's easier to get to. Next one I'm gonna tackle is this mess of a desk area. This isn't ideal, this is what we use for our homeschool. And also I just have some random books in here that I'm gonna move out. I got these organizing containers from Amazon. I believe there are either 24 or 36 in here and it was $20, so I don't know, not too bad. I don't normally buy organizing containers, but I really needed it. Okay, let's see, it's a 25 pack. So I feel like I just, I need this for a few spaces in our home. And so we're gonna start with the homeschool desk. Mm -hmm.
I'm about to show you a spot in our home that I have never showed before on video. And that is my husband's side of the closet. He did give me permission to show this um, since he knows I like to do things on around the house and organizing and things. We talked about organizing his shoes. And so today we're gonna clean out some of the shoes that he doesn't need anymore. He has a bunch at the bottom of the closet and I normally don't mess with it. It's his stuff. I don't, I've just learned that in marriage, uh, it's best to just let your husband do his own thing. Like if it's a really big deal, I will mention something, but otherwise I don't want him telling me what to do with my shoes. So I don't tell him what to do with his shoes either. But he pulled out the ones that he wants to keep um, up here in the closet and the rest I'm gonna go ahead and take out and just clean out the bottom of the closet. <laughs> came from the bottom of the closet. There's a lot in here. Now my husband does have a lot of shoes, but he also doesn't ever get rid of them. Like he's had these shoes probably since the beginning of our marriage. Um, and then gets new shoes once they wear out and then just kind of holds on to them just in case. So he's finally ready to let these go. So I'm going to go through them and, um, get rid of some of the, like the clothes and things that were at the bottom and figure out what to do with all of that. He did have a bag of ties, um, that were down there, like dress shirt ties. And he has not worn these in years, so I'll have to I'll have to ask him what he wants to do with those. But um, yeah, that used to be a thing, but not really anymore. <laughs> space that I wanted to declutter and just organize is my side of the closet. So I took out everything that was hanging up in the closet. I did leave a few items, which I'll show you in a minute, but I went through all of these things and basically if it was winter type clothes, just like a heavy winter sweater or something that I know I'm not going to wear the rest of this spring and into summer, I went ahead and just folded those up so that I could put those away and not have them just cluttering up my closet. Mm -hmm.
things that I did not take out of this space are my wedding dress. I do not fit into my wedding dress. I wish I did, but I just always have it hanging in the back of my closet. And then I also kept a few items up on top on this top shelf that I have an extra set of sheets, some workout clothes, and then just some like paint clothes, things that I don't wear very often. So I just left all those there, but I did just clean out the closet and I wanted to dust and vacuum. So I took care of that before adding the clothes back in. Here's what I've got in the closet. So these, well, that's my just robe. And then I wear this. It's just like a comfy little thing to wear at night sometimes um, in the evenings when I'm just relaxing. But these are like dresses or pantsuits here. And then I have my tops here. So some of these are just kind of like lighter weight thing uh, tops that I can wear uh, when it's still a little cool this spring. But I took out a lot of the heavier sweaters. And I tried to kind of color coordinate it ish i wouldn't say that it's like perfect but just um so that it's just easier to see what i have and then i have a couple of skirts and a few of my pants here as well and so that's it it's looking a little better than what it was before okay so i am currently in my bathroom and we're going to tackle under these cabinets i'm sorry about the lighting it's not the greatest lighting in here but i'm going to show you what we have going on in here i have just kind of been just shoving things in here. It's not been functioning well at all. And as you can see, there's just a lot of stuff. So I need to take everything out and reorganize it. A couple of bins that I do have, I do have these Amazon bins. And then I also purchased two of these from Walmart. And I think these are gonna be good for things that go like the bottles, like lotion bottles, soap bottles, things like that. So let's go ahead and take everything out of here and see what we're working with. Okay, so here's what I ended up with. My camera is making it brighter in here, so that is helpful. 
but I ended up just putting some of our, these are like deodorants and soaps and lotions and conditioners um, that are just backups. So these are in here, easy to get to when we need them. And this is a couple, like I use this every day, this face wash, but then just other random items that we don't necessarily use every day, but also some backup hair items. And behind there, I also put in a couple of, these are just extra things that we don't use very often. So um, they're there just in case we need them. And then next to that, this bottle I use, it just has water in it. And I use that to do my daughter's hair sometimes. Put the soap bars here and then just a couple of bins. These did not change. These were already there. So that is what it's looking like now. It's looking so much better than what it did before. I did narrow this basket down. This is basically band-aids, peroxide, thermometer, um, diff different like eye drops and different lotions and stuff. And I'm going to move this to where we keep our other medicines in the kitchen so that it's just all together. The last space I'm going to show you is my side of the bed. This is my nightstand. And Carolyn had asked me a while back to show how I organize it. So I'm just going to show you real quick. In this drawer, I keep uh, lotion. I have a couple of things of lotion, some of my chargers. This is a remote control for our fan and our lights. And then I have a pen here because usually I'm making notes or lists at the end of the night. And then this is just an egg carton that I use to organize my earrings. And then I also have a couple of bracelets here on the side. So nothing fancy, kind of just simple, but that's what I keep in there. And then down below, let me move this. Um, it's kind of dark in here, but I have some books in the back. Um, just ones that I'm not using right now, but I want to hold on to. Um, because we don't have a bookshelf. We're looking for one, but that's what we have back there. And then these are my nail polishes, nail files. And then in this basket, I keep my hair things. So I have a couple of curling irons, my straightener, and two brushes. And that is it for this video.